Several blocks from the hustle and bustle of downtown Lower Broad in Nashville, there's a little block building right here at the corner of 12th and Pine. The Station Inn, this little spot has been for the past 40 years the home of great acoustic music in Nashville. The Station Inn, come on inside. And this is the man, the best friend music ever had in this town, J.T. Gray. J.T., it's good to have you here. Good to see you, Keith. This place has just exploded uh, with high-rises and condos. And, and here's the Station Inn, this little block building down here. And uh, can we depend on this to last? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're hanging on as long as we can. Everything looks good right now. and. Uh, we're still our little humble home right here, I call it. And mm -hmm. all I can say is long live the station in. Let me tell you how they set the atmosphere now. You come in the front door, and as you walk in, the first thing you see are a row of seats back here in the back. Those are seats from the Lester Flat and Earl Scruggs touring bus. The old Martha White bus. Yeah, the Martha yeah. White bus. The old, old Martha White. Now you talk about setting the scene. <laughs> now, uh, we're here on Sunday. You have Gospel Sunday. Tell me about that. That's, we, that's become very popular in this town. Val Story, who plays with the New Monday Band on Monday night, she had mentioned about maybe doing a Sunday gospel show. I said, well, you know, why not? You know, I mean, everybody likes bluegrass gospel, uh, country gospel. And I said, uh, let's, let's do it. Let's try it and see how it goes. So, well, it's, it's uh, I've I mean, heard people refer to it as their church. I yeah, mean, exactly. They come down here to, to enjoy the gospel yeah. music and the message it brings to their heart. Exactly. And uh, it's, it's a good thing. It's a great thing. Yeah. <laughs> started that about eight months ago. Um, it's something I'd had on my heart for some time to do a full band gospel show here in Nashville. So for our local community, it's a place that they can come anytime and hear great gospel music on Sunday after church. It's at the perfect time. We go from four to six. And then for those traveling, it's a great place. If they don't have a home church here, they can come to the station and hear some great gospel music. When she asked me if I wanted to be a part of this, I said absolutely because if she had it on her heart to do, I'm sure it's what God wanted her to do and uh, gives me a chance to witness for Christ uh, through music and I love it. This is the best environment for the, our, this kind of music, gospel, bluegrass, um, country. It's, it's just the best place for real traditional music. JT, again, thank you so much for, for what you've done to stand up for this music and keep it going. I, I've seen clubs come and go. Me and, too. But, yeah. uh, but you're here. And, well, thank you. Uh, I hope that goes on for a long time. We appreciate it, and we appreciate all the folks that help support it and keep it going. You bet. So come see us. Well, I feel like I've been to church. I love this place. If you're coming to Nashville, you've got to come to the Station Inn. It's, it's an icon in this town. And by the way, worldwide, you can check out the Station Inn at stationintv.com. If you're coming to Nashville, got to make it to the Station Inn seven nights a week. There's always great music going on here. You can count on it. Wait, don't click that button. Well, unless it was the subscribe button, and then carry on. And while you're down there, hit that little notification bell too. Oh, and if you leave a like and a comment, I will personally give my dog Toby a treat. <laughs> leave a like, feed a dog, as I always say.